Apple just announced the 2018 iPhones. The names for the iPhones are 10R for the smallest LCD version, 10S for the middle OLED, and 10S Max for the biggest OLED version. Starting with the most similar iPhone 10S, it is basically the exact same as the last year's iPhone 10. Same size, same design, same RAM, same battery. This is your typical Apple S update. The cameras are a little bit better, the processor is new and fast, one two more little touch ups here and there and that's about it. Rest of it is the same as the iPhone 10, which ain't a bad thing for that sake. The iPhone XS Max, the biggest one, it is the biggest phone present today, even bigger than the Galaxy Note 9, coming at 6.5 inches. Other than the size difference, it is also the same as the iPhone XS. The new iPhone XS and the XS Max are now more waterproof. Previously they used to be IP68, but now with the newer models, Apple managed to achieve IP68. There's one more iPhone announced, the iPhone XR, don't know what R stands for. This is the cheapest one and I get a feeling that this will be the most selling iPhone of this year. Like people bought the iPhone 8 just because it was cheap and this iPhone is much better than the iPhone 8. The iPhone XR has a bit bigger bezel because it's an LCD display. You can't bend it from the ends and make it bezel-less, that's just how it works. The iPhone XR has a single camera which is the same as the XS primary camera but you don't get dual here. You can do portraits here as well, so you are not missing a lot. The XR is IP67 instead of IP68 on the XS, but again, not a big difference. It's LCD, not OLED, but no big deal. It's not super high res, that might be a little bit of problem, but it's manageable. The internals are the same. Same face ID, almost the same design. The iPhone XR looks a much better deal than the iPhone XS and the XS Max. Plus, the colors. There are a lot of colors on the iPhone XR. There's the product red, my favorite, black, blue, yellow, and coral. So there's a lot more to choose from. Whereas in the XS and the XS Max, there are the regular gray and silver, plus a new golden color which people will buy just to show that, yeah, I have a newer iPhone. It's not the 10 dude, it's the XS. But that's just typical Apple releasing a new color for people to buy the phone. More or less, if you have the iPhone 10, you honestly should not upgrade. These are mostly the same which you come to expect from typical Apple S update. If you are planning on buying a 2018 iPhone and you care about your money, you should go for the 10R. It's much cheaper and you don't miss out on any major features. But if you don't care for the money, go for the iPhone XS or the XS Max. Let me know which iPhones you like the most and are you planning to buy any of these 2018 iPhones. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it, subscribe as well. And I'll see you all guys soon. Peace out.